Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Anandita and if you're new to my channel, please like, share and subscribe and hit the bell icon to get the notifications of all my upcoming videos. Today's video is about you know how to sound confident when you're talking to people in English. How to sound confident when you don't even know what you're going to talk about right but sounding confident is really very important you can't afford to be nervous right um especially when you are in an interview or uh, you know in some kind of an important meeting uh it's going on and you have to talk about something you have no preparation uh then it's very important that you have control on what you're talking about nobody is flawless i'm not flawless you will never be flawless however a very good practice will make you sound good acceptable understandable and that is very important so today i'm going to share a few things which will help you sound better confident presentable and obviously understandable when you are starting a conversation the first thing you do is you introduce yourself right and then a very common practice that we indians do is myself is so and so myself anindita don't that's wrong what do you have to say is my name is anindita my name is anindita datta dasgupta talk about yourself confidently and the first thing is your name that's your identity so when you are pronouncing your name say it properly my name is anindita datta dasgupta it should be crisp and clear and never ever say myself so and so that is not how you should say another thing is you know when you are asked to talk about uh, maybe a topic or something and you start like my english is weak really it's your english something else which we don't have of course not it's never like my english is weak okay it is it should be i am weak in english i am not very good in english my spoken english is not very good don't ever say my english is bad my english is weak you do not have any special english which we don't have right so i am not so good in english i am weak in english all right if you talk like this you sound more like an english person okay we indians tend to translate always so don't do that avoid these kind of sentences prepare few sentences that you will always say in case you are not so confident okay we often say only i only this only that only he only she only don't say replace your only you have to do this and how okay it happens when you know when we are kind of uh, emphasizing on something so instead of saying i only did this we just say i did this instead of saying instead of saying she only told me just say she told me that's enough you don't have to say only 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 it's kind of you know translating from hindi like you often say maine hi to bola tha are usne hi bola tha are mujhe hi to jana tha are maine hi to kiya tha are usne hi to kiya tha so this is only don't say that you're not translating from hindi or bengali or from other indian language okay you are talking to people in english so sound english we indians love to say ki to na you know kind of things like you know i said this ki you should do this na but he refused no very bad na what to do no don't no native english speaker talks like this okay so when you are saying this i mean when you are talking to people about an incident and you are very emotional about it take control of yourself that's the only way and after taking control try to use proper words i told him to do but he didn't listen i wanted him to follow what i was saying but he simply refused 
try to get few words which are common, which you are going to use very often to avoid your keys and tos and nas. Sometimes you can use like uh, this, like uh, that, this kind of like. Sometimes you can also say, you know, but don't make it a habit. Because if this becomes a habit, every time you are struggling to find out a proper word, this like you knows will come into picture and you will definitely sound nervous. So make it your style. Sometimes use this thing, you know, like, can you know, like, okay, but don't make it your habit. Your weakness should not be hidden with your you knows or likes. Try to find out proper words which you will use very often. That will strengthen your way of speaking. Be very sure about the singular form and the plural form, okay? In one sentence, you cannot use S, I mean S twice, once um, with a subject and once again um, with a predicate or what you are talking about. You know, like, I'll give an example. You should not say like, boys goes to play. That's wrong. If you are saying boys, it has to be go to play. Or if you are saying a boy or this boy or that boy, you are specifying, then you will say the boy goes to play. That boy goes to play. But do not use S twice in one sentence. It does not happen. It's wrong. In Indian languages, we do not really take care of these kind of things, right? So we tend to forget when you talk to people in English that these things are to be taken care of and we sound ridiculous. So to avoid this, to avoid that, practice not to use S as many times as you want. Use it only when it's needed. And for that, practicing is very, very important. We often say, I'm on a 10 days vacation. Mm -hmm. It should be, I'm on a vacation for 10 days or I'm on a 10 day vacation. Do not say on a 10 days vacation. That's kind of wrong. Okay. We also say, I'm going to order for food. For food is wrong. It has to be. I'm going to order food. I called to order for food. No, I called to order food. I'm ordering food. That's right. I'm ordering for food is wrong. You know, khane ke liye, that kind of thing actually comes in the picture when you talk about food and all and we simply translate for food, for this, for that. No. I am ordering food. I called to order food. Do not use for or, order for food. That is wrong and that is a very common practice. Please avoid that. You really sound bad if you say like this. Do not say back when you have to say a go. Like 10 days back this happened. No. Say this happened 10 days ago. Okay. Generally, back should be used for things which you can see. Like a table, chair, some person, tree or an animal. But if you're talking about time, you know, like days or months or year or a certain time, try not to say back. Three days back. Two days back, two months back, one year back, that's wrong. You do not sound good. You do not sound sophisticated. And I believe English is a very sophisticated language. Okay. So in this kind of things, in this kind of um, scenarios, when you are talking about time, try not to say back. Instead, say ago. Okay. We are very emotional, right? We Indians. So, when you really feel, you know, we uh, tend to put our feelings 
as much as possible in a sentence and we we talk like no baba babu na don't say this okay no matter how genuine you want to sound how much feelings you have you don't really have to use those words like no baba babu na no replace them with proper words okay change your tonality change the way you speak you do not have to put extra baba babu kind of things okay change the way you talk articulate properly put correct words you will automatically sound genuine your feelings will automatically be visible no english people will use extra words like that okay that's kind of mixin mixing hindi or any other indian language into english refrain okay don't ever say those kind of things rather change the way you talk try to practice um you know kind of inducing natural empathy in your voice you should sound genuine and that is enough no extra word should be put inside a sentence to make it sound um what should i say i mean indian english just be english now the last point that i would like to say is you know sometimes when you talk we kind of repeat words to um emphasize like no 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 yes 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 don't one steady and strong no is enough to say no one yes is enough to mean that it's actually a yes you don't have to say no 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 or yes 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 no don't be over emotional do not lose control on yourself okay be confident when you talk what you mean to say will always be clear so with this i'll conclude today's video i hope it's been helpful if it is don't forget to like it share it and of course subscribe to my channel i love my subscribers i always think about you when i create my videos you know your face is something you know i kind of visualize when i talk i feel that i'm talking to you directly so hit the bell icon also to get the notifications of all my upcoming videos do let me know in the comment section if you're looking for any particular video any particular topic i will surely cover it and thank you once again for watching me i love you guys very much stay confident stay beautiful stay gorgeous speak nicely always sound good when you are talking to people take care bye bye